It's a beautiful day out and I get to sit outside enjoying a delicious steak dinner for breakfast. Awesome. Good morning. In case you thought I was lying, here is proof. My plate that has been eaten some of, but you know, there's still steak on it, so. Delicious, oh, it's so good. Sean is out with his brother and father celebrating the birthday Father's Day thing, so they took their dad out for fun. And I am home. Uh, yeah, I'm relaxing. It's pretty awesome. I have the awning up, so I'm not completely covered in sunshine, but it is pretty nice out. It is a little windy, but it is not so bad. It's only bad for filming, but I have a hand covering the microphone to hopefully stop all that nonsense of wind getting in the way. Arthur is very jealous of me. Archie, come up there. Go up there. Go in that chair. <laughs> Look at him. You and my plate. You cannot have my plate. My baby. You're sitting on a chair. Sitting on a chair. You're so cute. Nope. It's all mine. All mine. So, we got up this morning and my brother and I took my dad out for birthday slash Father's Day. I guess it was for Father's Day, although it, today's his birthday, but we celebrated his birthday yesterday. So yeah, we took him out, we went to the record store, and then we went out for lunch slash breakfast. Lunch, breakfast, it, it was like noonish, 12.30. So I had lunch food, Kyle had lunch food, Dad had breakfast food, so there you go home now and I gotta go to work for four hours <sighs> yeah it's still good and Lydia's just at home and I think she's reading her book which is like I don't know it's about some people that run through a cornfield I think it's called the maze runner yeah. Yeah. see what I did there see what I did there Anyways, she's doing that. Ow, my beard just like stuck to my shirt. Oh. She's doing that. I gotta go to work, okay? Okay. I think after work I'm gonna try and go to Lee's house because uh, he's celebrating his birthday today. Although his birthday was yesterday. So I mostly just came outside to eat out here because um, it was crowded inside. <laughs> Um, and I wanted to have some fresh air, but it's actually nice enough that I might stay out here. I have my book, ta-da, that Sean got for me, um, because my library card doesn't work. Um, I remember having problems getting it in the first place. I think I was too young or something, or I didn't have, like, identification that allows you to get a library card. I don't even know how you get a library card anymore because it was so long ago. And then I used it and then there was a gap where I didn't use it at all. I didn't use my library card at all. So I tried <laughs> recently and it was like, no, you have to go to the desk. And I'm like, nope. And so I use Sean now and Sean's library card to get everything I want from the library because mine doesn't work. And I'm sure it's an easy fix, but, you know, it's also easy, because Sean just, you know, he can, he knows how to place hold on books, and I've never done that, and he's always around, so I can always use his library card. So, <laughs> so Sean's always the one that will borrow books for me from the library. And yeah, I have the first book in the trilogy, I have The Maze Runner. Um, and <laughs> Sean says he's going to finish um, one book when I finish three, 
which actually might be possible because we have the other two on hold. Um, so depending how long it takes for us to actually get them, for me to read them, it could theoretically be enough time for Sean to finish a book. But I don't think you will. I think I'll be able to finish, like, all of mine before he finishes because he's not an avid reader like I am. And, yeah. I'm going to start reading my book outside because it's nice out. So this is a joke from the TV show Arthur. <laughs> um, I find it very difficult to have fun because although I have a library card, it does not work. Because in the show, there's like a whole song about how having fun isn't hard if you've got a library card. And Sean made that joke, and it was amazing. So, yes. I thought I would share it. <laughs> in case anybody else remembers that wonderful, wonderful show. Hey guys. I'm out in the car because I don't want to wake up my family with my talking. And I don't want to have to talk super quiet either. It's pretty late. Uh, <laughs> I just got back from being at Lee's house for his little birthday party shindig thing. I had a pretty good time. We didn't really do much. We just kind of sat around and watched um, like cringe videos on on YouTube and just like just weird videos on YouTube and stuff for like three hours or something. It's pretty crazy but it was just fun just kind of hanging out chatting and talking to people. Chatting and talking to people. Did both of those things. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of a it was a good end to the day because work, um, work was interesting. I I like my job um, to a degree. <laughs> the the thing with with my work, um, the people that I work with, and I know I've said this a billion times, the people that I work with. Are really great but I don't like the work and when I'm there I kind of I like I enjoy my job when I'm there but when I'm not there and I'm thinking about work I don't like it especially like you know the hour or two hours leading up to me going to work I, I, I just, I get really nervous, and I feel sick, and I just, I just really don't like it. I, I don't really know what it is, like why I'm getting so nervous about it. I don't know. I think it's just, one, it's, it's not the type of work that I'm really used to, um, and also just the environment of it, um, and this is in no way a negative thing about the job, but the environment is very much not what I'm used to because I'm working in a team and everybody else is a is a good worker. And I'm used to kind of just working by myself and working at my own pace or being told that I'm working too fast. And here I feel like I'm working too slow because everybody has this rhythm and... I feel like I'm getting in the way and I'm very much the kind of person to uh, not want to be in people's way like I, I, I back off a lot and I, I, I stay quiet and I don't know I, I, I try to make myself not noticed and I'm, I'm finding myself doing that at this job when I probably shouldn't but the thing is, I, I've expressed this to the people that I've worked with. Like, you know, I, I'm just being straight up with them. <laughs> straight. I don't know. What I'm, I'm watching a lot of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, <laughs> so I'm just being straight up with them and um, just saying that, like, how I'm feeling about the job of like the fact that I, I'm not liking um, doing the drive-through because I find it really hard to hear. What people are saying I get really nervous and can't focus on 
when there's someone at the window that I have to deal with and there's somebody at the, the drive through speaker who I have to talk to. Like, if I'm just dealing with one customer at a time, I could do it. But having to deal with, like, three different conversations going on at once, I can't focus on that. It just, it doesn't work for me. I try, but it's just, I don't know. So today I had a, I had a four-hour shift. I worked from five to nine. And the first three and a half hours were great. Like, I was working on fries. I learned how to do fries. Not that it's a complicated thing, but I learned how to do the fries. I did... Oh, I didn't even really do a lot of dishes. I've kind of been doing a lot of dishes and starting working there, because that's kind of my go-to place, because I'm off kind of in the back by myself, just doing my own thing. Um, but I did, like, maybe, like, ten minutes worth of dishes today. Uh, but yeah, I worked a lot on fries and just kind of doing that stuff. And then the last half hour that I was there, they put me on drive through And it made me feel really crappy. And I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Because um, that's the main thing that makes me nervous about going to work. Is thinking, what if they put me on drive through Because... I don't, I don't, I, I, I can't do it. It's just, for some reason, it's something that doesn't work with me. Like, the kind of work that I want to do. Or the kind of work that I feel like I can do. It's just, it's, it's just not for me. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, because that's, that's what I want to do. Especially with, with work and stuff. I want to try my best. I want to do everything I can do to the best of my ability. But I feel like this is something that I won't be able to do. And that's scary because it's a big part of the job. And I don't want to let anybody down. So I don't know, I'm going to keep trying, but it just it makes me feel crappy thinking about going to work, thinking about what if I have to do drive through? But yeah, apart from that, <laughs> it's weird because I'm like, I'm try I'm not trying to down talk the job because it's actually it's a really good job, and everybody else who works there loves it, and I actually do really enjoy working there, except for drive through, and that's nothing against the drive through itself. It's just it I, I it's not compatible with me, and that's an obstacle I'm gonna have to find a way to overcome. I, th I think I think another one of like the big problems with with this job that makes me so nervous is every other job that I've worked, apart from my very first job when I worked at Superstore, um, every other job that I've worked, um, I've had a connection. And although because I had that connection, I felt like I had to work extra hard to like not disappoint that person, I also felt that I had almost a security blanket. I think subconsciously I felt that, of like something I could fall back on, even though I don't necessarily think I could have, because if I screwed up, I, I would hope that I wouldn't get away with it, because that would be kind of crap, you know? Um, but at this job, I don't, I don't have that. And I think even though in the past jobs it was this subconscious thing, it's it's a conscious thing now, knowing that, like, I don't have any, like, ties to this place. They could get rid of me like that if they wanted to. And I think that makes me nervous, even though I, I shouldn't be. Like, I think I'm doing a really good job, and I think that they like me, and it, it seems like they like me there. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep at it, I'm gonna do my best that I can and darkness darkness brightness <laughs> so yeah i'm going to do i'm going to do my best and yeah we'll uh, we'll see what happens this summer it's uh it's all kind of up in the air right now but yeah i need to get in bed um edit <laughs> and then go to sleep. So, I should be fine. Got a long shift tomorrow. So, 
need to be well rested. <laughs> and I only work seven and a half hours tomorrow. Seven and a half? Six and a half. Six and a half. I'm working six and a half hours tomorrow. So, yeah. <laughs> Drive through the entire time. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I'm going to go inside, try my best to be quiet, <laughs> to not wake up the parents, and go to bed, okay? Good little chat. All right, guys. See you in the morning. Good night. Good timing, Light. Very good timing. Good night.